Hello, uh, in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to compute the Z confidence interval for a binomial proportion using uh, SPSS uh, from a raw data set. Okay, so here's the data set called the bladder. Uh, it's a bladder cancer. Uh, so we're going to use um, the variable event, which has two values, 0 and 1. Um, so we assume event equal to 1 is a, a bladder cancer case, okay? So the first step is you go to analyze and non-parametric test and one sample. So here you can just say scan the data and so you got here and you select customer analysis um, because we have to do a lot of uh, uh, tweaking. Uh, to um, get what we need, okay? So once you select a custom uh, customized analysis, then go to fields. Now you see uh, all the variables are in the test fields. That's what, uh, what you don't want. So choose use custom field assignment. We only want to compute confidence interval for event. So select event and use the arrow to move event to the test field, all right? And then you can go to setting. And here, uh, from automatically choose the test based on the data, you can s select a customized tests and you want to do a binomial test. So compare observed binary probability to hypothesize binomial test. Uh, you can choose options. Uh, you can see uh, confidence interval, you get uh, Clopper Pearson, and uh, here you want to specify success value. So we, we said event equal to 1, so enter 1 here, click OK. Uh, another thing is you can click on test options, uh, where you can see the confidence uh, interval is 95%, uh, but here you can actually change that level of confidence if you want. So after that, then you can just click Run. So it's going to take a while. OK, now you have this uh, output for the hypothesis test summary, uh, but you don't see the confidence interval here. What you want to do is double click this area to activate the output so it shows you more information. Um, not sure why SPSS does that. It hides all the information here. Uh, and what you want to do here uh, is go down to the bottom of the page. This is a hypothesis a summary view. You click on that as a drop down menu. You select the confidence interval summary. Uh, and now you can see the um, confidence uh, interval type, parameter, uh, and the sample proportion 0.586. And then you got the 95 confidence interval here. So it's quite a complicated procedure. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, at the end, we, uh, you know, we get things done. We get the confidence interval for the binomial proportion. Okay. Thanks for watching.